After eight hours of continuous rain, this is what the city of Lambasheke in northern Peru looks like. People who live here say their lives have been turned upside down. We have been flooded with water. The police station is flooded. All the houses are filled with water. We can't even work. Forecasters say the rains have been fueled by unusually warm temperatures in the Pacific. The floods are happening months after the country was hit by a severe drought and wildfires. The Peruvian president is visiting affected areas. He's promising money to improve Peru's infrastructure in order to prevent future flooding. We're declaring a state of emergency and there are funds to help. What we have to do further down the line is to make sure that all of Peru has paved roads and drainage because the problem comes from these clay streets. When there's a lot of rain, they fill up. In the town of Huaquipa in western Peru, 31-year-old Sonia Sanchez is exhausted and frustrated. It's the third time her home has flooded. Her family's been forced to move into an emergency relief tent until their house is habitable again. It all happened so fast. You can't imagine the despair we feel. The water came so quickly that we didn't have time to move anything away, and the house ended up like this. The government has declared a 60-day state of emergency. At least 30,000 homes have been damaged and more than 800,000 people are short of clean drinking water. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.